name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather around the table of the Lord, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries by acknowledging our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. When you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mystery of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who have been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, of preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord. Of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there. And all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within me. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Feast of the Dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you did not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we continue on in our reflection of recognizing how we are called to be the faithful sheep of the Lord, 
We hear in our gospel today that in order for a good shepherd to be a good shepherd, he needs those good sheep. Those sheep that know, understand, and recognize his voice and follow the voice of a good shepherd. Today in our gospel, we hear of the Jews who fail to hear the voice of God that is being spoken in the presence and the person of Jesus. They ask for a sign. They want Jesus to prove to them that he is the Christ. They, as they so eloquently put it, don't want to be in suspense. And yet, for all that they desire to see and want Jesus to prove that he is the Messiah, the Christ, they choose to fail to he truly hear and listen to the voice of God. Throughout these last few days, as we have reflected on the image of the Good Shepherd, we should, we, the invitation should have been present for us to look inside of ourselves and ask ourselves, have we done our part in being good sheep for the Good Shepherd? Have we done enough to truly understand and recognize the voice of the Good Shepherd? Or are we still in moments in our life where like the Jewish people in our gospel, we fail to truly hear the voice of our risen Lord? Our journey of faith is one in which we are constantly being challenged, constantly being invited to reflect back on our relationship with God, to ask ourselves, have I done enough? And have I done all that I can to spend time with the Lord, to listen, to hear, to get to know how the voice of our Lord sounds like? Each and every day is an opportunity to do so. And if we have not yet started on that journey, perhaps today, the day to do so, to come back to prayer, to come back to scripture, to come back to the celebration of the Eucharist and not just put it on on our screens, but truly invest in our act of celebration, in our act of worship, to truly immerse ourselves into what it is that we are doing when we enter into the celebration of the liturgy, that we are opening ourselves to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd. May we, as members of that flock of our Lord, embrace every opportunity to know, to deepen our understanding, to recognize the voice of our Good Shepherd. And so with trust in our loving God, we bring to him our prayers and our petitions. And so we pray for Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gomez, for all bishops, priests and deacons, that they may embrace the call to be good shepherds to the people entrusted to them. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for peace in our world and an end to all violence. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for all those who are discerning and call the priesthood the, the, to the diaconate or to religious life that they may truly and faithfully answer the call of the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Continue to pray for all those who are sick, all those who are recovering from or struggling with any illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who have died and gone before us. May they come to find eternal rest in our loving God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray especially at this Mass today, the needs and intentions of Abigail Aguilera, and the repose of the soul of Nora Ferguson, and the repose of the soul of Joan Waller, Waller, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The quiet of our hearts is spoken aloud wherever we are. We bring to our God our own prayers and petitions. For days we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and merciful God, listen to the prayers we humbly bring before you as we ask them, trusting in Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become for us bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of the Assumption, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command of born by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace, unity, in accordance with your will. Let her reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a quick announcement that today, I, as for my day off, I'm going to go homebound to LA to visit my family and have been given an opportunity to spend the night there. So we will not have our daily mass tomorrow on Wednesday. We will resume our celebration of daily mass together on Thursday. But just as a reminder, just as an announcement that we will not have our daily mass tomorrow on Wednesday. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to learn to recognize the voice of the Good Shepherd. Thanks be to God.